Hello, welcome back. This is the Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 classroom. Uh, today we are going to work on learning how to use the bone tool. Now the bone tool is actually pretty interesting because you can't really do much with bones because they're not actual things. First things first, they are things I suppose. Uh, first things first, you only build bones in orthographic views. If you ever build a bone in, or in a in a uh, perspective view, you're doing it wrong. As a matter of fact, if you've ever alt middle mouse button and then try to create a bone, you're doing it wrong. We always want to build the bones from very, very specific, specific directions. And this is mostly to avoid gimbal lock, which we'll talk a little bit about later. But for now, understand that the, the idea behind building bones is and what angle we create them uh, is very important. For today, we're going to use our top view. So make sure you hit T for top view. And then we are going to go up here to animation. And in the animation, we are going to find our bone tools. Pull down. Select that option. Now we are going to create bones. Now creating bones creates a whole new setup, which is a helper uh, or a system. Not a helper. Sorry, helpers are over here. Uh, a system. And we're going to use a bone system here and make sure you turn snapping on for today. So it doesn't really matter how long it is. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. So click on 000, zero, zero and I'm going to move this up to, uh, where is this, 80? Uh, let's do like three or four. Let's do four squares, wherever that is on your grid. And four more squares. Click and then right click again and this is your bone chain. All right, cool. So bones are always built to operate on an XYZ property. That way, Z is their primary uh, method of rotation, okay? Which means it will be calculated, calculated last. This is important to avoid gimbal lock. Now, in order to work with bones, we work in local mode and we almost only use rotations. I mean, eventually we will do more with it, but for now, our bone chain is going to look like this. All right, I'm in perspective mode because I've already created it. Now, cool thing is you can double click and get an entire bone chain, or you can single click an individual bone and rotate it. Okay, now, you wanna rotate today using only the axes we show. And in this case, from the top view, we are only going to move it along the Z axis, which is the blue, okay? It's also, as you can see, the last number in our three. So. If you double click on the first bone in a chain, you get the entire chain, which means if you rotate it, they all bend, right? This is very interesting. Um, it means that the system that you use, uh, or the, it means that this process will rotate. Like for instance, if you want to bend a, an arm, you can grab two bones like that and then bend it like this, and then you can bend all of them together. Uh, make sure that your rotation system is local so that you know that you're in Z rotation. Also, make sure that your pivot point is pivot point center. If you use anything else, like one of these, you'll get the wrong type of bone motion, all right? You have to make sure that you're using um, pivot point center. If you use something like this, It'll, it won't work right uh, if you use one, the transform coordinate center or if you use this process, it's going to pivot from the wrong location. And that would be really bad. So primarily, I want you to hit top, make sure you're set to local, and make sure you're using pivot point centers to rotate bones. So if this was an arm and we were going to move it, we can do a whole lot of stuff with it. Now, if I hit W, I can move it around, but what I'm really doing is adjusting the pivot position of this object here, of this lower bone. There are other ways to set up FK and IK so that you can drag one thing and it moves a bunch of other stuff. But for now, we're just going to use um, forward kinematics, which means in order to move anything and to get it to move at all, oops, Y, T, we have to move the, move, I should say, the bone itself. So if I wanted to set this here, and let's see if I can get my track bar. Now can you give me a track bar? 
Uh, customize, show UI, show trackbar. Yeah, I've been having a problem with this recently. There. Okay, cool. Okay, so I've got this uh, bone chain. So let's say I'm going to highlight all the bones. And I'm going to create set a key and set a key right here. And I'm going to set a key. Do I have? Yes. Set a key. Okay, good. I'm also going to set a key at the end at the same. That way I know it's going to come back to the front part. So let's say I'm going to take this arm. I'm going to move it here. And I'm going to move it like this. Okay. And I should have done it in the frame I want. At frame 30, I'm going to move it here. I'm going to move this right here. And I'm going to set a key. And so now it comes like this. This bone needs to rotate forward. I must not have had that set. Selected. Make sure you select all your bones. Your nub is, this is called a bone nub. It's not nearly as important as the rest of them, but here we go. So we've got that moving like this. And now we are going to, from frame 30, we are going to go further ahead like 60. Yeah. Sure, let's go 50. We're going to straighten this out like, oops, grab just the bone you want. If you, if you grab too many, if you grab both bones, they're both going to rotate the same amount. We don't want that. So we're doing, we're throwing like a punch. Let's move that there and put that. Grab this and move it like that. Grab them both. Make sure they're both selected. Keyframe. All right, let's see how it looks. So we're going to go punch. All right, and then it goes back to where it was before. Now I can actually take this and move it up here. And all of the same bones are going to move. Boom. See how that works? So that's the process. By creating bones like this and adjusting them and making sure we are rotating, rotating them along the z-axis, where if you look closely, and I'll zoom in here, you can see that the gold circle is circling around the z-axis. So even though it's gold, if you select another axis, you can sort of see the um, blue. We are going to use z-up in this case. Actually, every single bone chain we build is going to use z-up. Um, as our primary method of rotation, which means the arms will be built from the top in a T-pose, the spine will be built from the left, and the legs will be built from the left. Um, the hips will also be built from the left. So almost everything's built from the left because the primary method of rotation is that direction. Um, things like heads and stuff like that don't spin around too much, so we don't need to worry too much about those. But legs and um, thighs, anything with uh, ball joints like el uh, not elbows, but... Um, armpits and like upper thighs are going to be the biggest issues we run into all right so that's basically it i will see you next time our bones are set uh we are going to create something to skin the bone to